Hey, 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 what is today? Thursday, Friday Eve, pre-Friday, what's going on? This is a warfare prayer that uh, the Holy Spirit put into my heart. And one day when I was just basking in prayer and spending time with God. So first and foremost, we're going to enter into the presence of God with thanksgiving on our heart. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you made. We thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for your first fresh grace and mercy that fell upon us on today. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we did something that glorified your kingdom, Lord. We repent for all sin, uh, willful sin, as well as unknown sin, any sin that is hidden in our heart, in our soul, in our DNA, in our RNA, in our subconscious mind, in our unconscious mind. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will Turn your face back to us and hear our cry on today, Lord. Lord of the heavens and the earth, hear my cry. Father, hear your daughter or your son and rescue me from the snares of the enemy that rise up against me, breathing violence. Your word in Isaiah 54 verse 5 says that you are my husband, you are my maker. Heavenly Father, as my husband, I come to you. Your name is also Lord of armies. Your name is also King of glory. Your name is also Redeemer. Your name is also God Almighty, Lord of Lord and King of kings. Your name is also way maker and miracle worker. Your name is also yea and amen. Well, that's your word, your promise. Excuse me. Your name is also Allah. Your name, Lord God, your name, your name, your name is above all names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I ask that you will send forth your armies, send out your angels of great strength who hearken to your command in the name of Jesus, who are obedient to your command as it is written in Psalm chapter 103 verse 20. Father, your word says that I will bless you, O Lord, all his armies, his servants who do his will, as written in Psalms 103, verse 21. Send forth your armies, Lord. Send forth the archangel Michael with his frontline soldiers to bring down and have the victory over every ruler, over every authority, over every cosmic powers of darkness, every evil imp, word curse, and generational curse. Bring down every spiritual forces of the enemy. I thank you, Holy One of Israel, my Redeemer, who is called the God of the whole earth, as written in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5. Your word says that the weapons will uh, will form, but they will not prosper. Heavenly Father, I decree and declare right now on this day that the weapon that tried to form against me is scattered. The weapons that tried to form against me are scattered and have fallen. The structure is demolished. The structure is dead and the words and weapon that tried to form against me and you can fill in whatever other areas you want to cover are scattered and restructured and formed in my favor. I walk in the destiny and the likeness of God. I walk in the fullness of God and the light of God. Hallelujah. Lights my path in the name of Jesus. Every portal open for generations, God. Generations all the way back to Adam and Eve, Lord God, are purified. They are closed and covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, as it is written right now in Leviticus chapter 26, verse 40. But when they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their ancestors, Lord God, their unfaithfulness that they practice against me and how they acted in hostility toward me. Father, you will hear from us. You will open up the windows of heaven. You will forgive us, not just us, but also the sins of our ancestors, God. I thank you, Father, that you now turn your ear toward us, that there is no hostility toward us, that there is no anger toward us in the name of Jesus, but there is your righteousness, there is your promises of yea and amen, there is your covering, Lord God, there is your covenant in the name of Jesus, and we seal this in your precious son's blood, who's whose blood cries out better things than the blood of Abel. Amen, amen, and amen.